48 states have shown that this has helped, and we are going to join as the 49th state. And uh, we're confident that um, the reforms will work, that uh, premiums will come down, medical care will go up, employers as well as employees will be a win-win. You know, Democrats put forward a lot of, you know, suggested that, you know, this is actually going to, to lower payments to people who are in, in legitimate need. And, uh, Excuse clearly, me. they probably wouldn't uh, yeah, say we, we do not have any empirical data that shows that. And we do have some data that the Labor Department is not working at an at a, at a optimal performance level, and, right. and that's another, been another area where they've, you know, obviously. Uh, are, do you have any concerns about that at all? I mean, well, the, the, uh, the non-optimal performance is under the Division of Labor, Department of Labor, but it's a totally different division. It's apples and oranges. Uh, that's the unemployment uh, claims department, and we're talking about workers' compensation. Like many departments here in the state, uh, there's volumes of information and volumes of uh, people that work under the Division of Labor, and uh, those are two different, totally separate entities. So I have no concern. Yes, there were problems found, but it was with unemployment, uh, not workers' compensation. Right. As a f fiscal conservative, you consider yourself, right? Someone who's skeptical of government, government agencies. Uh, you got to at least be able I'm not skeptical of good government. I, uh, I am a less government smaller government Republican, and I think taking out of the courts, uh, making it a streamlined, more efficient system, making you and I, if we get injured on our, in our jobs, in our workplace, we have a much more direct and, uh, and faster way to get results. Okay. That's good government.